be early. Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome, Mr. Wally Ferris. It's very lovely to see you here this morning. You've met a few of the staff around uh, the organization. So with that underway, I will call the meeting to order at 8.43 a.m. And I'd like to start by acknowledging that we are gathered on Treaty 6 land, a part of the traditional territories of the First Nations, Métis, and Inuit in Alberta. The town of Drayton Valley is grateful for the knowledge keepers and elders and the stories and teachings that they share of these lands and its people. Is there a member of council that would like to adopt the agenda as presented? Councilor Gamana, all in favor? That is carried. We have two decision items this morning. Our first decision item is 4.1 CAO employment agreement. An employment agreement between the town of Drayton Valley and Wally Ferris is required in order for the role of chief administrative officer to be filled. The budget allows for the anticipated salary requirements as stipulated in the employment agreement. As per the Municipal Government Act, uh, every council must appoint one or more person to carry out the powers, duties and functions of the position of chief administrative officer. And with that, I am looking for a member of council to make the first motion for 4.1 of the CEO employment agreement. Okay, we have it up there. Can we go to um, page three, Pam? Right there, for whoever can read the motion. Sure, Councillor Clark. Do it, Bill. Uh, I move that council approve the employment agreement between the town of Drayton Valley and Wally Ferris, effective November 13th, 2023. Thank you very much for that. Any comment, question, debate on the motion? None that I'll ask all in favor. That is carried. And we'll move along to our second decision item, which is the CAO appointment. With the approval of the employment agreement between the town of Drayton Valley and Wally Ferris, council will pass a resolution to formally appoint Wally Ferris to the position of Chief Administrative Officer for the Town of Drayton Valley. The budget allows for the anticipated salary requirements in the employment agreement, which we just passed with a motion, and the Town and Wally Ferris have agreed to enter into an agreement that sets out the terms and conditions of employment between the Town and Wally Ferris as Chief Administrative Officer. As per the Municipal Government Act, uh, the CAO is obligated to abide by the responsibilities and administrative duties set out by this act and the bylaw. I am now looking for an additional motion for this decision item. Councillor McGee, thank you very much. Madam Mayor um, and Council, I would uh, make a recommendation or a motion that Council appoint Wally Ferris as the Chief Administrative Officer for the Town of Drayton Valley, pursuant to the Chief Administrative Officer Bylaw 2022-10A and effective November 13th, 2023. Thank you very much for that. Any comment, question, or debate on the motion? I will just make the comment that uh, we'd like to welcome you on board. We're very excited to have you here. I know that the team is excited. A lot of emotions today and in the coming weeks. It's uh, Today is October 30th and we do have it dated for uh, uh, November 13th. And that was to accommodate Wally so him and his family could move to the community. And uh, we have a little bit of, um, I guess, work to be done prior to uh, his first day. So that's why we're doing the motion and the swearing in today. So with that being said, there is a motion on the table and I'll now ask all in favor. That is carried. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to say anything, yeah, just use your microphone, please. Just a little button there. Thank you. Um, thank you, Mayor Dodds and, and members of council for for granting uh, myself this opportunity to uh, to lead the team here and to help you achieve uh, what's in your strategic plan and the corporate business plan. I'm, I'm really looking forward to, to getting started and, and settling in in Drayton. I think we're going to love it here. Thank you. Thank you very much for that. We're excited to have you on board. We're looking forward to the wrapping up the end of the year. We've got a lot going on. You're just coming, like I said, into the tail end of the year. So wrapping up some projects, doing a little bit of strategic planning, moving into budget, but you you know this territory, you've done it before. So I have all the confidence in you that uh, you'll just jump in and we'll be heading straight forward. And um, with that, I also wanna say thank you very much to Miss Elvira for uh, your time in that chair. <laughs> Thank 
got a couple of weeks here. Um, it's been uh, it's been one heck of a ride, I'll have to say. Never did we think all the things that have happened in your short time that you've been in that seat, but you've done a fantastic job, and uh, we appreciate everything that you've done uh, from getting us through our finances to the wildfire and just that we're here today. So you're not going very far, so I know it might feel like a, an emotional goodbye, but you're just moving from one chair to the other. Your office is the same, everything's the same. You might even be able to keep your parking the same, so you'll have to you'll have to arm wrestle that out with, <laughs> with Wally, but we'll see. So thank you very much. Uh, we appreciate everything that you've done, um, and just so happy that you're still gonna be around as part of the team, and welcome, uh, Wally. And with that, I will adjourn this very, very quick special meeting at 8.49 a.m. Record time.